Hi, everybody. I'm DJ Sixpit. You're watching The Sit Down. Marie McCool is here with us, Athletes Unlimited Lacrosse on CBS Sports. What's going on, Marie? How are you? I'm good. Thanks for having me. Of course. So it's a big time for you. You're playing in this new Athletes Unlimited Lacrosse League. We've seen great success with softball and volleyball. Week one was awesome. So what has this whole experience been like so far with LAX? Yeah, I mean, it's been truly incredible. I was able to catch some softball and volleyball um, a few months ago when they first launched, and it just made me even more excited to, to be a part of Athletes Unlimited and for the first inaugural season of lacrosse and Athletes Unlimited. Um, I think, like, my favorite part so far, like, obviously with COVID, um, it's been really hard to see a lot of our friends and compete. So I think just being able to um, play at a high level, but also be around some of my best friends and, and build even more relationships has been um, awesome. I mean, we're all in the same hotel and we get to interact with each other a lot. So it's been really great to see some familiar faces and also meet new friends. It's nice to have that connectivity, especially in the world we're living in right now. And just to be able to play this sport in a professional level is unbelievable. And to do a little bit differently is cool too. So what have been some of the surprises that you've enjoyed so far? Yeah, I mean, uh, like you mentioned, to do it differently is definitely um, something that we're kind of experiencing now with the point system and with our teams changing every week. Um, this is a new experience for all of us. So we're all learning along the way um, what works, what doesn't work. And I think, um, you know, we're used with lacrosse being a team sport. We're used to like building that chemistry and, and playing with the same people. Um, so it was different. But I think something I really enjoyed about it is like having that opportunity to to play with different people each week and find out like who, who do you build chemistry with um, and what are the best combinations. And then, you know, if you kind of don't have a successful weekend, like bouncing back and being on a new team. Um, but then there's also the gold team that went for, you know, and I'm sure they wanted to keep their team for the rest of um, for the rest of the five weeks here. So um, it's definitely different and interesting, um, but it's really fun to be a part of it. I love, you know, change and I love being a part of new things so it's been great every week is a clean slate that's the beauty of the league and I think another beauty and another cool thing is that you get to be on national tv and you get to have exposure all across the world so what does it mean to you to have this professional league in front of people that may be really familiar with the cross or may never have watched the cross yeah I mean this is our first major um I guess like broadcasting tv deal for lacrosse for professional lacrosse and so um you know it's been really great to see um, you know, people tuning in from home on TV. I've seen a lot of like Instagram stories and like family and friends send pictures um, watching us. And I think like, it's just really exciting for us to be able to show, you know, our skill and talent and also like be an inspiration for all of the future generations of the sport out there watching. We want to be able to have a platform where we can inspire them. And um, this is great for us as athletes and, um, you know, even better for those future generations of the sport that, you know, look up to us and it's important for them to be able to see their role models, to watch them, to understand and, and study um, their favorite players so they can, you know, practice to be like them one day. Yeah, that's really beautifully said. You've been a role model for a long time. I mean, you had a great career at North Carolina. What are your favorite memories when you think about all the winning you did at UNC? Yeah, I mean, I have to go with winning the national championship in 2016. Um, that was such an incredible feeling. And um, something I'll never forget, but I think like even bigger than, you know, what's more important to me than all the wins and losses I experienced or like the relationship building. I'm a huge people person and like my best friends are from Carolina. Um, I had a great relationship with my coaches and still do. They've taught me so much, um, over the years on not only, you know, being the best player I can be, but also the best person. So, um, you know, that's something that I'll always be forever grateful for at Carolina, and um, I'll continue to have those relationships and make memories with all the people I met there. The other really cool thing is that the sport of lacrosse has really blown up the past couple of decades. I mean, when we were both kids, I'm sure you got into it. It was a sport that some people did, but now it's a mainstream thing. So what do you remember when you first got into it and just how the sport has evolved the past 20 or so years? Yeah, that's a great question. And I actually was asked the other day, like, who is your lacrosse, who was your lacrosse role model? And like, I couldn't really answer it, to be honest. And the reason why is because when I was 
at a young age, I got a lacrosse stick for Christmas and that's kind of how I got introduced to the sport. My parents didn't play. They're from like in the city of Philadelphia and like did not know what lacrosse was. But luckily um, we moved to a town in South Jersey that was really big on lacrosse. So that's how I got introduced to the sport. But I was never able to like watch it on TV because it wasn't available um, until really like after I committed to UNC. That's when I started to like click live streams that like were <laughs> just like one camera streaming the game on a random website. Um, and so just seeing like how people look up to us and also just like the college game this year and, you know, Charlotte North and Jamie Ortega and all of these big names in the college game has made me just super proud of, you know, where our sport has um, grown over the past few years. And, and the most exciting thing about it is like, we still have a really long way to go. And so it's great to see like the steps forward that our sport has um, been doing, but I'm also really excited for the future, especially with the news, with the Olympics and everything in 2028, I'm just really, really happy for our sport and the people that have been a part of helping be the pioneers of it. It's nice that kids now will have role models like you to look at. And the other cool thing about athletes unlimited is that you're playing, but you're also giving focus to different causes off the field. So what are you focused on and how amazing is it to just shine a light on that stuff? Yeah, so the um, organization that I'm playing for is Harlem Lacrosse. I'm actually um, pretty closely connected with Harlem Lacrosse and I've, I'm on the associate board and have done a lot of work with them in the past. And I think like my favorite, one thing that I want to do for Harlem Lacrosse is just bring more awareness. I think like the lacrosse world, everyone's familiar with what Harlem Lacrosse is, but I don't think a lot of people truly understand like exactly what they do. So um, just bringing awareness to that. Like, it's not just about lacrosse. I mean, they they provide um, so many different resources and opportunities for these young kids um, that are at risk. And um, they, you know, go to class with them. They help tutor them. Like, it's so much more than just the lacrosse piece of it. That's just an added bonus. And I just want to help bring awareness to that and um, shed light on what all the amazing things that they're doing. Well, Marie, you've had a great lacrosse career. It's awesome to see you doing your thing now. Really nice to meet you and we'll be watching this weekend, all right? Thank you.